Hey guys, uh, welcome back to part two. Uh, these, this part will feature just the Blu-rays that I've gotten. Um, so without further ado, the first one, um, there's no Blu-ray in it yet, but I figured I'd go ahead and show it. Um, it's the Lion King metal pack that you can get from Best Buy. Um, it's, you know, you're pre-ordering it and you're supposed to get the case kind of for free, but you have to put like a seven, seven, $7.50 seven deposit down for the movie. Um, and when you go back to pick up the movie, you just bring the receipt and they'll take that amount off. Um, but this, I love it. It's gorgeous. Uh, and I will definitely be replace, putting discs in here because I'm not really that crazy about the cover art for the, you know, the Blu-ray itself. Um, but The Lion King is my favorite Disney movie of all time, so I cannot wait. I'm counting down the days till it comes out on Blu-ray. And of course, the inside is just gorgeous, I think. Um, there's the receipt. My receipt, anyway. Um, I, I don't think my camera's definitely not good enough to pick that up in really good detail, but of course you got the famous Pride Rock scene. Um, so definitely very nice. Um, really recommend picking this up if you can still find it. Next up we have uh, The King's Speech. Um, wow, I really love this movie. I This was a complete buy and buy, blind buy for me when I bought it, um, but I really like all the actors, all the main actors in it, so I knew I couldn't go wrong, and it was so good. The, act, the acting in this movie is just above and beyond. Um, so well done. Um, I know it's hard to, I mean, nobody can believe a movie about a speech impediment could be so enthralling, but it's just, uh, you know, about the relationships and, um, you know, overcoming obstacles and even if you're king, you still have, <laughs> I mean, you're not perfect, obviously. Um, and it was so great, the relationship between Lionel, the speech therapist played by Jeffrey Rush, and then um, King George, uh, played by Colin Firth, they, they had a really great um, chemistry and really worked well off each other. Um, one of my favorite scenes is when, you know, they're practicing for the coronation or whatever, and uh, Jeffrey Rush's character, uh, Lionel, sits down in the, the, I guess, the throne or something, um, which only royalty are supposed to use, and he just completely loses, blows his top, and it was so just really funny. I don't know. Uh, I, I just remember that scene. And of course, Helena Bonham Carter, um... She does a really great job. She's one of my favorite actresses, so... And a lot of people said it was nice to see her play somebody normal. <laughs> I guess that's true, but she does crazy characters really well, so... But, every, like I said, everyone worked really well off each other and just did a fantastic job on this, so... If you haven't seen it yet, please go check this out. Really, really great. Next one is an upgrade from the DVD. Um, it is Into the Wild. I just had to upgrade this film. One, because it's one of my all-time favorite films. Uh, this is it will just this is the kind of film that will change your outlook on life. Um, and uh, plus, it's got gorgeous cinematography, so of course I wanted to get it on Blu-ray. Uh, it just it just blows me away every time I see it. Um, and I can't urge you enough to please please go see this movie. Um, it will. Yeah, it will. I love it so much. Um, Pretty much, it is based on a, a true story of a guy, uh, his name is Christopher McCandless, and he pretty much, after he graduated college, he just gave up all his possessions, all his money, you know, he pretty much, you know, he burned his social security card, driver's license, and all that, so he's just got rid of his identity, belongings, everything, and just hit the road, um, heading to Alaska, he pretty much just, you know, hitchhiked. He walked, uh, canoed, <laughs> um, he just, and he meets all these interesting people along the way. You know, he works all these odd jobs to help pay for food and, and whatnot. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't really want to spoil anything about it, but please, I mean, it is really long, fairly long, so, uh, but trust me, after you see this once, you're going to want to see it again. So, um, like I said, I can't go on and on enough about this film. Please, please watch it. It's amazing. Next up we have um, 300. Uh, 
This is, of course, the Digibook, as you can see, and I love Digibooks. I think they're great. Um, they're so nice. Um, as you can see, very shiny. Um, it's really This helmet's got a really cool texture to it. Um, everything is embossed on the front, um, and there's the back. But if, I really wanted to get this movie on Blu-ray, and from some of the things I've read, the transfer for the... This is the complete experience. Um, is a little better than just the regular Blu-ray. Um, I don't know how true that is. I I don't own the, the standard one, so I can't compare, but I just wanted this because it's a digibook, um, and I wanted to get the film on Blu-ray. And uh, I'm losing some paperwork here. Um, but I think everybody knows this movie. Um, of course, about the 300 Spartans who stood against the... Um, crap. Sorry, my mind's gone blank. Um, the Persians, I believe. Yeah, the Persians. I don't know why I I knew that. Um, but um, really great, um, great action film. Um, I love it. And it looks great on Blu-ray. One of those movies that really, really benefit from Blu-ray. Uh, next up we have Fox and the Hound and the Fox and the Hound 2. Uh, of course, you, I mean, I grew up with the first one. I've never, I still haven't seen the second one. Um, but I think, I don't know, I'm not really that fond of Disney sneaking the second one in there. I kind of force me to buy it. Um, but of course, the first one, I think it's a, it's a really good Disney movie. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think they put as much effort into the transfer on this film as they have, like, their Diamond Editions. Um, but it's still definitely, you can tell, it up, it's definitely an upgrade from the DVD, but just not quite as high as, you know, those Diamond Edition ones, which I guess is a little understandable, but still. But of course I had to get this on Blu-ray, um, trying to get as many, all of my favorite Disney films on Blu-ray, of course. But uh, there you have it. <laughs> Next up we have Beetlejuice. Uh, very happy to finally have this movie. Um... Because back when I did my Q&As, somebody asked me who my favorite Tim Burton, or what my favorite Tim Burton film is, and it's Beetlejuice here, and I, but I didn't own it. Um, but I did, I got this through using my Warner Brothers rewards points. I'm going to have to get a, give a shout out to Brandon. Uh, his old name was Sketch Vader, and his new name is The Real Sketch Man, I believe. He reminded me uh, to do the, to go and cash in my points and everything, so I did, and I ended up having enough to get a Blu-ray, they have a pretty decent selection, so, um, and even though, and if you still have codes from, like, old Warner Brother movie, old, old Warner Brothers movies, try them anyway, because I use codes, like, that were from The Dark Knight that expired, like, a year, two years ago, and they worked, so just try them, um, so you can get more points, um, definitely worth it, I love getting free Blu-rays. <laughs> Alright, and then we have, uh, Chronicles of Narnia, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Found this for $8. Still has all the art cards and everything, so I was very happy to get it for that price. Um, I love the packaging, even though it doesn't really match up with any of the other ones. But it's really um, neat and uh, really pretty artwork. Um, I'm not going to pull it all out, because I know there's several videos that show this in greater detail, and I just don't have room around me right here. Um, but... Uh, really good. Better than I was expecting it to be, actually, so I was really happy with that. Um, I wonder if they're going to make any more, because I know there was, you know, question of even if this was even going to, you know, get made, because I know Disney dropped, you know, dropped the franchise, um, but Fox picked it back up, so who knows? Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, next up we have, um, Spartacus. Gods of the Arena. This is the prequel to Blood and Sand. Very, very good. Again, can't go wrong with this show. It's amazing. Um, and again, I was thrilled that they kept the packaging consistent because I hate it when they change packaging. You've got your clear slip cover there. And then you've got it in this, like, I guess it's kind of a digibook as well, book style. Um, but this only comes with two discs because it is only six episodes. But I was more than willing. Uh, it was on sale for twenty four ninety nine, um, and for a show of this quality, um, the episodes are pretty much an hour long. Uh, it's on Blu ray. Um, really nice packaging. More than happy to pay that. Um, so there you go. You have the inside artwork, and all the discs are right there. 
So there's all of that. Um, again, I urge uh, anybody who hasn't seen this to give it a shot. Um, although, if you're not really... It, uh, it takes things pretty far. I think it's as pretty close as you can get to um, porn without actually being porn, pretty much. I mean, it does go to levels I have yet to see any other show go to. Um, violence as well. So if that's that turns you off, um, obviously, then I guess it wouldn't be for you. But uh, there is a good story there. It doesn't just rely on all that. Um, but I know, I guess that's what it's kind of known for now. But um, it's got really uh, great stories to it. Um, and it's got excellent, excellent bonus features. Um, but I, I, I know on the Blu-ray they do have exclusive... Um, the Blu-ray exclusives are extended episodes and audio commentaries on all episodes, plus a 3D battle sequence. Um, I don't know, I kind of don't like when they do that, because sometimes I don't feel like buying the Blu-ray, so I don't think that's really fair to force people to do it. Um, but it does have really, um, really good bonus features on, uh, that I assume are on the DVD as well. Lots of, lots of behind-the-scenes stuff, so really good sets, really, for an excellent show. So... There you have it. And I am very much looking forward to season three because they've released a few little snippets. Um, and supposedly the fifth episode of the third season is going to surpass like anything they've ever done so far. That's pretty much what I've gotten from reading, you know, little stuff they've released. So I'm very excited. I'm very uh, looking forward to seeing where they take it. And uh, of course, you know, it's going to be kind of sad to see somebody else playing Spartacus, but he, lo he looks like he'd do a good job from, you know, based on the, you know, the trailer that they've released, so we'll see. Uh, next up is Star Wars, The Complete Saga, of course. No surprise if you've seen my unboxing video. Um, I'm not going to go really into m my feelings on this because that's pretty much in that video, um, but again, really nice set. Really happy to have it. I uh, can't wait to check it, check it out. Last, uh, but not least, um, is uh, The Notebook, the limited edition set. Uh, I've read that the Blu-ray, um, this Blu-ray box set is now out of print. I'm not sure about the DVD one, so I was really glad to get it. Um, I picked this up from my Blockbuster where I work. They have a ton of Blu-rays on sale for only $12.99. This is one of them. Uh, the Avatar 3-disc set is another one of them, which I need to get. But with my employee discount, I got this for 10 bucks. But, um, like I said, if there's a Blockbuster near you, I really recommend you go checking it out. They have, like, Toy Story 3 for $12.99. It's the combo pack and everything. Or the 4-disc pack. Or, yeah. Um, so I'm going to get that, too. <laughs> I just got to get paid. Um, but for $10, could not pass this up. It's a gorgeous box. And, um, I don't know. I really wasn't planning on upgrading the DVD, really. But, like I said, this pretty much just jumped into my hand and said buy it. <laughs> this is the inside. Of course you get all your swag, all your fancy, st all your stuff that you're probably never going to use. <laughs> um, but this is probably the best part. It's a really nice little scrapbook type deal. You know I got some uh, great pictures from the movie. And then of course your disc is back in the back. Um, pretty much what's in the rest is, uh, this. Is, what's in here is just um, just little scrapbooking stickers and stuff like that to make your own little scrapbook, I guess. Probably never going to use those. And then the last thing in here is just some stationery. Um, that's about it. I just got this because this looks really nice on the shelf. Really pretty box. And of course it's going to be on Blu-ray, so for, for 10 bucks I figured, heck yeah, I'm going to get that. Um, well, that concludes this September update. Um, I promise not to, uh, well I do my best not to, uh, make the gap between videos so, so big. Uh, I know there's several of you that have requested some videos from me, and I have not forgotten you, I promise. Um, I'm just trying to find time to do everything. So I very much thank everyone who subscribed to me recently, all my, um, old subscribers, all those who, you know, continue to comment and, you know, leave me messages. It's really awesome, and um, I thank you guys very much. And uh, I will see you with my next video. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet, but uh, there will be one. Um, 
tuned. So I will see you guys later.